Alright, so here's the kit by Paradox Design for this 6.5 liter Humvee. We've got two hoses fitting for the front, two replacements um, for the rear block off plates. It's got a pretty good color instruction manual, uh, step by step. Alright, so under the hood, we've got the reservoir, follow those lines to the fitting on the front of the intake, which will be coming out. Right. So here we have the rear block off plates, we'll put the plates with the uh, nipples going on, we have these hoses, it talks about routing in the instructions, I'll give you the right direction, the bolt on here, run it through goes up to that fitting in the front. It's going to keep uh, all the air bubbles and all of the heat problems that GM has in the back. Um, it's going to take that flow out. So rather than just having one flow out of the intake, you're not going to have one, two, plus the original. So three. Uh, I misspoke. These are the cylinder heads, excuse me. But um, all that heat um, and bubbles and air and all that crap is going to be able to circulate way better. Go ahead and take this fitting out. Alright, so under here for the drain. Ah, there it is. On your lower radiator hose. There's a pet cock there. So, you'll get the new one in, you want to get it a little bit over snug, because we'll be adjusting that once we run the lines up to the, from the back to the front. You want to get all your bolts out of here. Since these will be coming off and going into water passages, you want to get something, get any kind of debris, all that jazz out the way, you don't want that up in there. You want to pop these off, probably going to need a screwdriver, a little pry bar, maybe a little chisel and a hammer or something. Okay, so on this side, it was a little stickier than the other one. The other side, I was able to just put the screwdriver here and hit it with my fist. It came off real easy. This one was more stubborn, but this bracket here, I caught the lip, and then a little smack, it came off just as easy. So. Put your gasket on. usually want to put some sealer on it, some RTV. I uh, prefer the gray. And put your bolts back in, just a little over snug, the same as they came out. It doesn't have to be super tight. Here's the angle I found best for the T to run at. I've got some heavy duty um, charging lines running here, which some might not have. This is a heavy communications package. Um, this goes in here. There's pictures in the instructions uh, that kind of help you know where to go. I had the best luck inserting the lines from the engine bay towards the back. Um, had to route them a few times to get them to where I kind of liked them. They are touching a few items. You may want to get some loom. I had some extra red, which worked out pretty good. You can get that anywhere. Uh, Riley's, uh, whatever's good in your town. Uh, double clamp that. Only had some skinny clamps. Uh, came out with kind of a kind of a cool look. So here's the lines where they come into the back. Uh, see again, they're touching in a few spots around this fancy red loom here. Um, when you do install these, the passenger side hose is going to be the longer one. Um, it actually came out pretty clean on that side. So the double electric cooling fans took off the um, mechanical fan. Um, put that on with the RV constant duty solenoid. Uh, so it doesn't overheat, keeps nice and cool. So yeah, it came out pretty clean. Um, you get all that done, get all your fittings tightened up. You want to leave them loose until everything's together, then tighten them up. They don't take a lot. These actually don't seal on the threads. Um, they seal on a, a surface inside, so they don't need to be super tight. Um, and uh, just fill it back up, let it run, warm up. Make sure you're not getting uh, a lot of air in there. Make sure you got water coming out the top, not just uh, air. And uh, your thermostat's opened all the way. And uh, you know, if you go to Humvee, you can probably afford this. Uh, if you're working on another GM engine like uh, 
from the 90s uh, and you want to vent those in the back you know you can tap into those with some rubber hoses but this is a clean kit gives a nice look